This is universal asynchronous receive and transmit. It's used for module to module communications, not so much for scan tool, but all your other things like local air, local information network or LEN. We're going to use five milliseconds per division, which will give us 50 milliseconds full screen. That's so we can see a complete burst of information. We're going to use a 10 volt scale, which gives us a little extra room at the top, and that's good. Now the this is the 10 volt scale on the left, marked in blue in this particular case. Now the zero point is right here, but this scope was set up incorrectly. We don't have the correct triggering. Triggering should be here, but it's not. Because it's not there, the pattern does not always start at the left. But the point we're making is you can still see all the information because we've got 50 milliseconds full screen. Triggering merely helps you see it easier. Now if you don't understand what you're looking at, go look at the diagnostics. It diagnoses just like PCI or Class 2 GM. It's just set up slightly different. Let's go look at what a normal trigger should look like. We're going to use an ISO 9141 and notice when triggering is set correctly it locks the pattern in and it stays steady. So this is an example of properly set triggering.